Let's talk a little bit about where these captives are formed. Um, are these particularly uh, offshore entities uh, or are they also formed onshore? And uh, w- what have we seen? Mm, a wide variety in MGAs forming in different domiciles. Mm. Uh, often as part of our process, we always look at what domiciles may suit the MGA uh, best. So uh, we certainly give options for offshore, such as the Cayman Islands. And we know that's a friendly jurisdiction for MGAs. Um, but we also look at a lot of onshore domiciles, uh, whether it's Vermont, uh, North Carolina, Montana, Oklahoma, uh, Delaware. There's a wide variety of yeah. domiciles that are very open to uh, MGA type business and, and are very friendly towards it. So when we go through the process, often it's really based on the MGA, their location and where they feel best meets their needs for domicile selection. So I haven't seen any, um, I haven't seen any domiciles uh, not friendly towards MGAs at this time. So I suppose, again, it's, it's, it's kind of an it depends answer. Um, while we certainly see some advantages in terms of regulatory capital and solvency margins in perhaps forming one of these captives in the Cayman Islands compared to some of the onshore jurisdictions. Um, That may not be a big consideration because of the collateral requirements of the fronting carrier, uh, which may sort of override that. Uh, And so that really means that there probably isn't a sort of standout jurisdiction where we would say, if you're forming an agency captive, do it here. It's if you're forming an agency captive, let's get a good understanding of what your program is, what your captive relationships are going to be, where you feel comfortable, and let's offer some comparisons of different jurisdictions for the possible formation of your uh, agency captive. Absolutely. I don't I don't think there's any domicile that is uh, a standout. And that's not to say um, uh, anything negative. It's to say that a lot of domiciles are friendly towards the business um, and that they like the overall structure of MGA type captives. If anyone wants to know more about the Cayman Islands as a captive jurisdiction, uh, obviously, you can communicate with any of the three of us, um, pick up the phone, send us an email, whatever it happens to be. Um, you can visit the website of the regulator. Uh, you could visit the re- website of the uh, Insurance Managers Association. And you might say that a, the best way to find out would be to go down and visit. Um, and uh, it's a great place to visit. Um, there is, of course, a fantastic um Probably the industry leading uh, captive conference takes place uh, in the Cayman Islands every year, the week after Thanksgiving. Um, And uh, that attracts about 1,400 people uh, with uh, usually, weather permitting, um, a big firework party on on Seven Mile Beach afterwards. So, uh, you know, bring bring your aqualung and uh, go down and take a look.